Okay, we're going to go through the full end to end process of my quote to cash application. I hope to use this video for demo purposes as well as documentation. So I'm going to try to go in proper order. So first things first, we have this new business opportunity, right? There's no other information on it. It's new business and there's one contact role, Jonathan Carlson. So we're going to want to create a new quote in order to see what type of pricing we're working with. And I'm going to create a quote for a one year deal. You fill out the contract information. And now the new quote has been created. We're going to add products. In this case, I'm going to add a subscription A as well as professional services. Subscription A will be a quantity of 100, while professional services will be a quantity of one. And now we've got just over $120,000 total value for this one year deal. We're going to then create the PDF on the quote and save the PDF to the quote so it's ready to email. And we'll sync this quote to the opportunity. By syncing the quote to the opportunity, the products as well as the necessary information from the products as well as like the quantity and the pricing passes over. So now the dollar amount from the quote synced over to the opportunity amount. The contract details was also populated on the opportunity. All of the fields were populated from the synced quote, that information from those same fields. So I'm going to win, close, win this opportunity. When we close, win an opportunity, then it's going to automatically generate a renewal opportunity. And since there is no uplift, it's going to recreate the same subscription A as well as professional services, but in its new renewal term. It'll also create the contact role that's associated to this original new business op. It'll add that person onto the renewal as well. So we take a look at the renewal. We can see that the start date and end date are the same dates as the new business, except it's pushed out one year later to account for the renewal start date. The close date of the renewal is 90 days prior to the renewal start date. Now, a quote was automatically generated and was automatically synced to the renewal. So we have all of this information already ready to go. Now, let's say we want to upsell this subscription A, or in other words, we want to add on 100 licenses to subscription A. We're going to click new upsell opportunity, and we choose our start date. Now, this is going to be a co-term to start date. So this is January 2nd going to September 9th. And that's what going to be about seven months. And we're going to upgrade subscription A, upsell subscription A. Yes, I'm sure I want to proceed. And then what is the quantity that we want to upsell? I'm going to add on 150 units. Now, as you can see, the co-termed unit price is calculated off of the January 2nd start date and calculated against the contract's end date. So we just hit next, which automatically created an upsell opportunity. Now this upsell opportunity ultimately comes through with the contract details of the January 1st start date, January 2nd start date, sorry. The contract end date is that same new business original parent opportunity end date. So the quote was automatically created for the 150 units. We can see the PDF. We can see the term that it's for, which is the second to the ninth. And it's already synced to the opportunity. So this is 150 units for say seven months, eight months or so. So I'm going to close win this opportunity and the upsell opportunity, or sorry, yeah, this this one upsell opportunity will update subscription A on the open renewal opportunity 
since it's a matching subscription on the renewal. So if we go back to the renewal, we can now see subscription A is updated to a quantity of 250. Great, and then the renewals sales price stays the same. Great, now let's test the upgrade, also known as cancel and replace functionality. And we'll set another, we'll use April 8th <clears throat> as the start date for this ups, upgrade. Subscription B is going to be the upgrade subscription we're going to use. So we know that <clears throat> subscription A has 250 units. It's just gonna be a flat upgrade. There's no um, additional licenses. And we have the co-termed price based on subscription B's pricing. Now we have the upsell opportunity. If we go to the upsell opportunity, and we can see we've got subscription B for 250 units. We've got the sales price per unit, which was the co-termed annual price. And we can go take a look at the quote and the quote line item. So this is a five month deal. If we were to just take a look at the PDF, we just see it's subscription B. This to me would make, it means that this product is being added to the agreement as opposed to this replacing subscription A. So in order for this to replace subscription A, we're gonna click tier upgrade on this quote. We're gonna select which product we want to upgrade, which is subscription A. We're gonna confirm that subscription B is the product we want to upgrade. We're gonna go ahead and hit yes, because we are sure from this confirmation. And now we just took the subscription A from the renewal at its co-termed price. So subscription A is usually $12,000 per unit annually, but this is a, or, or a little bit more than that, but this is ultimately a five month deal. So it calculates the $6,000 per unit annually. We're gonna sync this. Well, let's create the PDF and you can see that no, it's not an additional $3 million, but it's actually, we're refunding 1.5 million for the subscription A and we're adding on subscription B. So it still is 1.5 million. And then this quote's already synced to the opportunity. Now, if we go back to this upsell opportunity, we can see there's subscription B for a positive 250 quantity, subscription A with a negative 250 quantity. And then when we close when this opportunity, the renewal opportunity will remove subscription A and add on subscription B for this whole quantity. So we go to the new business, back to our renewal, and now we can see subscription B with its full 12 month term pricing is now on the upsell opportunity. So our, this is now on this renewal opportunity. So now we have this existing renewal that is up to date and accurate based on all of the upselling activities that had occurred throughout the life cycle of the original agreement prior to coming to this renewal.